let's think of it from a business owner's perspective. I'm thinking how I'm going to measure this in my organization. I have to create two buckets, leading indicators, lagging indicators. So the best thing to do is reverse engineer from a lagging indicator. Typically, in your business, you will use your CRM as your point of, of record for customers, opportunities, proposals, you know, all the, all the, that's a lagging indicator. So what do I want to measure? What are my outcomes? I want to measure revenue created, opportunity sourcing created, um, activity sourcing from social. Okay, so those are my lagging indicators. Make sure that you're able to measure that in your CRM. Then you move back one to more of your leading indicators. Well, what would those be? Those leading indicators would be um, social conversations. So again, using your CRM, and this is the best part about social, you can use your salesforce.com account. When you create activity in a normal CRM, you're tracking calls, emails, voicemails, just like any CRM. But now you're actually going to track social conversations. Social conversations triggered because of, you know, because of LinkedIn or Twitter. That's one leading indicator that you could measure. You could even get even further into other leading indicators that create that based on content engagement, or it could be network growth, but you're just trying to map the correlation between those things turning into activity. The real main one you want to concentrate though on is social activity and conversations that are sourcing from social. That means content, like imagine measuring content lead sourcing in, or social conversations that are creating leads and opportunities. That's how you want to measure it. All right. Um, what I'd like to hear maybe is a little bit more on how much your business, uh, you know, is focused or, or relies on social and, you know, how big a part of um, our audience's business uh, or time should it take up? So in my business, greater than 50% of all inbound leads come from social. So our business creates revenue three ways. It creates revenue through inbound leads that are generated through content and social conversations that turn, uh, that turn into marketing qualified leads worthy of our sales team to call. That's one. Number two is uh, customer referral, uh, you know, customer growth. And number three is channel partners. So in my business, you know, social is the, I would call it the end all be all. We create content that is poured into the market that creates conversations. And those conversations we then measure or we monitor those conversations through social to warrant offline conversations with the phone call. We're only placing calls to people because we know they're curious in our business. They're eating our content. And it's just one giant loop. Uh, and I think that's where the misconceptions are. A lot of people think social lives in a vacuum where you're in LinkedIn only and, and it's all the things I do in LinkedIn is what social is. No, no. LinkedIn is a medium for communication that can actually be measured in other tools such as marketing automation or you can place that information into CRM and, and that's where you're getting kind of the, the more corporate holistic outline of how are we doing socially.